This fighter jet is coming in for a landing without the man in the cockpit moving a finger. Pilot Matt LaCour says it's a strange feeling. It does take some getting used to because it's not normal being in an airplane that somebody else is flying and it's not normal flying a cartoon that is actually an airplane. He also switches out of the cockpit and into the modified bus that the drone controllers use for practice missions. It's just stepping out of one mode and into another and it's really not that difficult for most of us. One controller moves the F-4 up and down and the other side to side. Some of these jets saw combat in Vietnam and were then mothballed for a decade or two after that. But don't call them old. I hesitate to refer to the aircraft as old. It's seasoned. It's a seasoned okay. aircraft. They were pulled out of retirement and retrofitted with a $1.2 million drone system. Now they're used to test new weapon systems. Essentially to keep that spear sharp, we want to make sure that our warfighters in the field have weapons that are going to work as designed and that are going to be effective when they're out there putting themselves in harm's way. And to fully accomplish that mission, they need this line of jets, which is called Death Row. So over about the next two and a half years, all 17 of these guys are going to be shot down. Is it tough for pilots to shoot down their old planes? They said they struggled with it initially, but now we're okay. Uh, these are combat aircraft. They're uh, warriors, if you will, and uh, it's a much better death to them to, to die by the sword, if you will, to go down in flames. It's going to either training somebody or it's going to make our weapon systems better, which is better than sitting in mothballs on the desert floor and just sitting there for the rest of your life.